What's shaking everybody? Long time no see. I wanted to make a video today to show you guys the new ride. Finally got it in. Uh, I've had it for a little over a week now. And uh, well, let's just dive right in. Here she is. This is the Gator Tail 1860 Extreme Series. So on the back here, we have the GTR XD 40 horsepower surface drive engine. And this is remote steered. So I have the center console here. And this has got the power trim on it. And uh, it's got hydraulic steering here. And the whole nine yards. This thing's a real freaking deal, guys. And as you might imagine, I have dual power pole blades on the back here. This boat took about seven months to get built and shipped uh, to get into my hands. Uh, I waited so long, I, you know, I could have went to any Gator Tail dealer and gotten your typical 1860 or 1754 uh, Extreme Series boat, but, you know, those weren't really the specs that I was looking for. I really wanted something customized, um, so this had to be built from Gator Tail. And what is different about this? Um, well, for one, I mean, obviously the sea deck. Uh, this is the Mocha sea deck on this one. And this is all the way, all the way through. Even on top of the pulling platform, I have it. And I also wanted the bench seat here uh, with the cup holders. That was a big deal for me. Um, and also, if you look at a lot of the Extreme Series boats, they have the, what they call catwalks down the side of each side. And I did not want that. I wanted a straight up open, open deck. I didn't want to be tripping over anything. I didn't want anything taking up space to walk down the sides. I've been in enough 1860 boats to know what I was looking for. And the catwalk might be cool for people that are hardcore duck hunters, um, which, you know, I may get into a little bit, but, you know, I'm primarily going to be fishing out of this thing, so I want kind of just a an open deck. So, anyway, so that's some of the custom features there. Um, this does have the pointed front here, uh, so it's not flat like some of the ones you see, and it does have a modified V underneath, but it's slick bottom there. And one thing about this thing, it's especially with this motor, this is the first uh, mud motor I've had that has had reverse on it. And I don't, if any of you guys have mud boats, you probably know this, but reverse on these engines here, they're not, they're not that great. I mean, it's nice to have it because the last one I had was just a long tail and it did not have reverse at all. So you had to swing the freaking thing around and it was, Nah, it's a pain in the butt. So it's nice to have some some bit of reverse on this, but I mean you have to have it trimmed all the way down to really get any kind of any reverse action. Um, also with that slick bottom, it's tricky because it you know it doesn't cut like you know like my low does over here. It doesn't cut that good. So when you go into reverse, it kind of glides more than it does really accurately reverse, if that makes any sense. But anyway, these are little things that you kind of learn as you use the boat. So I'm still getting used to it. I mean, it's a, it's a huge learning curve from what I'm used to, but I love it. I mean, the boat, the boat is great. I mean, I couldn't be happier with this. Um, it's not tipsy whatsoever. Uh, me and my buddy, when we first took it out, we were kind of jumping on one side of it. And I mean, it leans a little bit, but good gracious compared to I had a Carolina skiff that was an 1860 and it was brutally tipsy. I mean, it'll throw your ass out of the boat, but this thing is super sturdy. So I'm happy with that. Um, but guys, look at this freaking mocha decking. I mean, good night. That is beautiful. So uh, I got a seat that I uh, mount here, but this has the, if I can get it open, plenty of storage up front. And I also opted for the extended deck. So I believe this adds another, uh, don't quote me on this because I've had so many numbers in my head lately, I, I can't recall. But it basically extends it from here to here. 
So it's quite a bit of space, but I wanted that extra deck space because I love me some space. So, uh, so that's one thing I opted for. This is the 13 gallon gas tank that's in it, um, which is more than enough for what I'm doing. And there's even some extra storage under there. And on the center console, you know, basic stuff. I had my Garmin mounted up here. I have not put on my Panoptix live scope. I don't think I'm going to, just because I don't really use it for the kind of spec fishing I'm doing. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's the uh, little gator tail, um, I don't know what you call it, little switch panel there for handling the navigation lights, bilge pump. Um, I had the place where I bought it put in the tachometer up front instead of being on the motor. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not too crazy about the job they did because they scratched it up pretty bad there. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with the tool they were using, but what are you going to do? So anyway, um, what else can I show you? This is just the basic uh, galvanized trailer. I didn't go for aluminum because, well, I had to cut costs where I could. And we're fixing to get some rain. I was hoping to beat that, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So up front, I have the Garmin Force trolling motor. This is brand new. Uh, this is the one I've been eyeballing for a long time, but it's uh, it's freaking sweet. Uh, it's got the brushless brushless motor, um, spot lock. I mean the whole freaking nine yards. This thing is sweet. I I'm so happy with it. Um, the only thing is, so I got I got this quick release bracket underneath it. So when I'm doing frog gigging or anything, I want ultimate deck space and no obstructions. I could just slide this puppy off. However, I did not know this. When you buy the Garmin Force, it does not come with the receptacle plug and port. So right now, if you guys can see, this is going, this is directly wired straight back to the batteries. Um, so I'm actually bringing this down to my dad's in about a week and we're going to cut this cable and put in the plug so this way I can easily just detach it um, slide it off the boat whenever I want and slide her back on when I'm ready and it's a done deal so for anyone that's interested in getting a Garmin Force trolling motor something to consider if you want the plug because it does not come with it so this bench seat actually folds down so this will actually give you more deck space for fishing on the back if you wanted, but so far it doesn't look like it really affects fishing at all. Um, but the main thing is so you can get access to this back storage. So I opted for the Dakota lithium batteries. Yep, I spared no expense on this deal. Um, there's the uh, power pole pumps there. So uh, a couple things about this. So. Uh, the place I got this, they mounted the batteries uh, for the trolling motor fine. These are uh, two 12 volt, 100 amp Dakota lithiums. And uh, that there, um, that's the cranking battery, but they did not secure this down. So this thing is just willy nilly floating around. Uh, wasn't too happy about that. So that's one thing we're gonna modify and kind of straighten up. Um, and I also opted for the power pole charge system. Uh, if you guys have not seen this thing, it is freaking sweet. Um, basically, it allows you to look at your batteries on the uh, Sea Monster app, and you can see the battery life there. You can actually do an emergency start feature. So if your cranking battery runs out of juice, you can siphon power from the, the other batteries that you have set up to give you enough juice to crank the, the motor. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's it's a sweet setup. So I figured, you know, I don't have that many batteries on the boat, but, you know, I, something that I will definitely use um, for any future boats I get, but I don't think I'll be buying many boats anytime soon. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all that's in there. And then you just kind of pull this bad boy up when you're done. And there's even a little bit of storage behind the uh, behind the bench seat here, which is cool. Let's see what else we got. 
Look at that freaking motor. Sweet. This is the rear navigation light. Um, this thing's kind of cool. You can maneuver it around whichever way you want. Yeah, it's got the custom wheels on it. Um, one thing I found interesting, uh, Gator Tail, I'm, I'm pointing at you about this. This trailer did not come with a safety chain. I've never once bought a boat that did not come with a safety chain, so I don't know what the hell is up with that. So that's one more thing I got to add. So, yeah, I mean, the boat itself, it is freaking sweet. It's solid. Um, you know, again, couldn't be happier with it. For the amount of money that I dropped on this boat, you'd think they'd give me something better than some freaking dollar store ratchet straps for the trailer. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. But these are the chintziest freaking straps I've ever seen. Uh, so anyways, I have some uh, some new ones coming in. Um, I don't remember the name of them, like Boat Buddy or something like that. But they basically, they mount to the trailer itself. Um, and they stay there and you just kind of pull them up and they clamp on. Um, got the stainless ones, so those look pretty good. So actually tonight, uh, me and a buddy of mine are going out frog gigging on the river. So we're going to put that to the test. So I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, this is the new ride. I don't know, what you guys think? It's pretty sweet, right? Oh yeah, and this is the natural gear camo, I believe is what they call this. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, that's the whole dealio. And I like that these have the uh, low profile lights on here so you're not sticking a freaking pole in here and tripping over it. Everything is just minimal sleek simple you know what i mean that's that's what i wanted you know overall in the boat so anyway that's about it um if you guys have any question on this just hit me up let me know but i just wanted to make a quick video to share the new ride because this is what you guys are going to be seeing in me in this season so next weekend like i said i'm going to go down to okeechobee bring this with me my dad's gonna help me modify a few things so i'll be seeing you guys pretty soon uh maybe i, I might make a video of this frog gigging trip i'm not too sure because i don't know how it's gonna go we're supposed to be getting some rain it's all up in the air you know how it goes so anyways appreciate you guys watching and uh i'll be seeing you soon later